Hello, I am here now, uh, about ready to get started. Um, this session is going to be um, kind of an unprecedented one because I discovered when I was installing this week's uh, batch of games that I can't actually play Rayman Legends. I was given it for free on the Epic launcher but it's an Ubisoft game. You have to have an Ubisoft account to play it. So I made one and tried to connect it to my Epic account so I could install the game I own. And Ubisoft said, no, you can't. Uh, we failed to authorize this for some reason. So I'm going to have to do something I've never done before and open the game or open the stream up with a wheel spin. Uh, usually I don't do this until the end of the night, but I have to spin one extra game for this session. So let's see. Let me pull that up first thing. Also, hello, friend. Hate thy king. I saw you message. Welcome. I'm glad to see you here. Alright, so let me pull the wheel up. We're going to do just a quick spin. And I am still going to like shuffle it and take it down to 50 games. Since currently it's a list of 403. And that's 62, that's 55. Alright, so here's 50 games. And game number two is going to become one of these. I'm going to have to, like, install it uh, <clears throat> right before I start on game number one here. So let's see. Game number two is not going to be Rayman Legends, because apparently I'm not allowed to play that. Instead, it's going to be Hugh. All right, cool. Oh, hey guys. Welcome. All right, now let me figure out where it is that I own Hugh. Not Cube, but Hugh. <laughs> um, what platform do I own this on? Um... Looks like this one's on the Epic Launcher. Okay. I hope it's not secretly an Ubisoft game that I'm not allowed to play. So let me find that and get that installing. Okay, found it. Okay, now I think that one's installing. So let me just go ahead and start on the actual first game here. Let me get my timer up. Oh, and let me change the list also. Uh, you know what? I will leave Ubisoft a shit down there. Because they are. And Hugh is the new second game. Hugh! Okay. Taking that off of my list. And let's see if I can start up this first game here. Oh, and I should do my usual introduction, I guess, for anybody who might be uh, watching one of these for the first time. Um, the premise of the game roulette is I have a backlog of about 400 games, and I decided one day, in order to finally play all of these games I've never played, I'm just going to spin a wheel and try them at random. And I'm streaming all of those attempts and uh, giving each game about a 45 minute chance. <laughs> Ubi soft is Ubi hard. Alright. So game number one is Welcome to Elk. Already, this one has a pretty interesting art style that I'm seeing. 
I kind of like this. Huh. This, th this audio is not English. It sounds Scandinavian. And I think this might be a point-and-click adventure game. I'm not sure yet. Alright, act one. I am ready. Enter. Space. There it goes. Oh, loading again. Okay. Alright. Well. Okay, this doesn't seem to be a mouse game. Is it a controller game? Oh, maybe it is. Here we are, missus. Oh, cool. It's a full-on controller game. I love that. I saw, like, screenshots of it and I thought it was a point-and-click adventure. But I guess it's a controller adventure. You just call me Frig. Alright. Just need a moment to get these here supplies off the ship. Yep, Jan. Frig. Alright. Everyone's waiting for me. I do kind of like this art style. Whoa! Was that a seal? Oh, nice. <laughs> wow. Alright. Yeah, this is pretty cool. So I guess, like, the objects that have color are the only ones you can interact with. That kind of saves me some time. Whoa. Also loving these walk cycles. Amazing. Alright. It actually does look really big. It looks way too big for these characters. It kind of reminds me of that, uh, yeah, they do kind of look like children. It reminds me of that, uh, Mutazion adventure game that I liked so much. Which I think was highlighted in the first Game Roulette Awards. Except this is, like, the Scandinavian version of that. Another fish box. Hmm. Oh, another fish box. That squid is holding a knife. Wow. It's also cool how this is apparently like one big continuous illustration. Is this a giant skull? Is that from like a whale? I think it is. The Hermit. Our yearly celebration of Mr. Nolan. Oh no, they're all going to get together and make me watch Tenet. Ooh. Eat lobster and drink beer, huh? Wait. That's a beer vending machine? What is that thing? Oh my god. 
This is incredible. Look at this little guy. Amazing. Give me another one. Uh -huh. Hmm. Oh boy. All right, all right. Oh god, well, <laughs> oh, M runs going to bed. Oh no. All right, well, have a good night. Ooh, spooky. So there's an actual child here now with some long gangly arms down to her knees. You must be frick. Uncle Yep is here. Okay. I mean, this is the kind of event I could get into, I think. Eating lobster and drinking beer. I'm frig. All right. Oh, yes. Go mingle while I pour your beer. It might take a while. Uh-oh, looks like a stranger. All right. I wonder if this is going to be like a Stardew Valley where I get to pick which one of these characters I want to romance. So far, um... Hmm. I don't know if I'm into any of them. The bartender seems okay. Ingrid. All right. This is a pretty rad uh, monster truck shirt. Mr. Bo. Frig, Marge, Victor. I ain't no good at this shit. Okay, okay. Traditional drinking games. Oh, okay. Is this going to be a mini game? Okay. <laughs> Amazing. Now, yeah, I'm really good at this. Start getting tricky? Okay. <laughs> oh no! Wrong drink. Alright, I'm gonna drink water.
Hmm. Okay. <laughs> so she's doing all these moves and she's saying like, okay, now press Y on this one. Interesting. How do you have so much energy? Oh man. Got that one. This is tricky. It's pretty generous on like the timing it gives me though, so that's pretty nice. <laughs> what the hell is this? A dancing mini game, obviously. Well done, frog. <laughs> Evening, fuckheads. Burp. Well, well. Who the fuck is this then? Oh, it's Leroy. Quiet there, my petal. <laughs> Fuck knows I'm needing it. Me and Petal here are going to go find a nice quiet place to get to know each other. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I'm done with this shite. Wow. What an absolute Chad. Oh. Better go follow them. Hi, Frig. Interesting that they kind of have to, like, walk outside with lanterns. Maybe this is, like, a really small island with no street lights of any kind. <laughs> nice. Oh, wow. Let's have a look at this map. Okay, so I just need to go up past three other houses to get to the house. Whoa. <laughs> this is kind of cool, so like... It's actually messing with my controls as I try to walk around like this. The houses are on sticks, like hot dogs. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna throw up in everybody's yard. <laughs> Boutiquen. There's... Alright, there's the plane. Wait, is it red? That's kind of funny. So 
So all of these objects are not, like, canonically white. Whoa, what is that? Is... Oh, yeah. I just... Hold on. Maybe this is it. All right. I get the feeling this is the wrong house. But, I mean, the game let me go in here. So this must be the place. Oh, man. Suddenly everything is so colorful. This is kind of like that, uh, that part in Earthbound where you go to, like, the, uh, oh, I forget what it was called. It was in Foreside. this character. Hmm. All right. Made it. Is this actually the right house? Oh shit! The build a house, talk, eat, kiss, and die game! Wow. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> it's like literally the cover of The Sims 1. Love it. Man, The Sims 1 ruled. I had, like, every expansion pack for The Sims 1. Robotroll was sent from the future to live under bridges and rock out. What in the world? Mutant turtle bear mechanic. Alright. Yeah, man, The Sims 1 kind of ruled. Um, the Sims 2, I had that one also. I only got, like, the first two expansion packs for it, I think. But um, then I just kind of lost interest in those games. <laughs> I know that, like, once The Sims 3 came out, that was when they got really, like, horrible about their DLC. And I know The Sims 4 is, like, no better. Whoa. A cat stuck in toast. Let's put that there. Left behind. The Dead Pets Society? Let's do that one, I guess. Alright.
Nice. So the painting actually has color today. I love this just absolutely menacing creature. There's a Nolan Manor. Mm, the name is crossed out. I think. Curious. Doesn't seem like there's a path up there. Oh, so the plane is red. in the boutique -in. Is that Scandinavian for a boutique? Oh, gross. There was a little sound effect when I stepped in the puddle there. Mmm. Alright, well that was fun. Whoa. <laughs> Is this their national flag? I, I don't think it's an elk. Elk skull. Wow. <laughs> Such a sneaky way to hide beer. Oh shit, I'm stuck. Oh, never mind. What is that? I gotta get over there. Another boutique. Is this another sneaky way to hide beer? Amazing. This looks like another one of those, like, signs. Like the, uh, the Nolan Manor one. The thing is, like, crossed out, which makes me think, maybe when I come back later that's going to be in color and I'll be able to interact with it. I kind of wonder if, like, as this game goes on, uh, everything kind of gets colorized and more and more things become interactable. Oh, man. Oh, there's the little guy. Nice. I gotta keep this out where it's visible, so I know I don't lose it. Hmm. Curious. Astrid's famous cowboy hot dog. Spread inside with mayo and mustard. Place hot dog inside the bun. Add beans, cheddar, jalapenos, and chopped onion. Cover with tinfoil and bake in oven for 20 minutes. Huh. Interesting. I mean, that sounds pretty good, honestly. These are infamous. Okay, and I guess this is the island. Alright. I think I see like a lighthouse near the bottom. Maybe that's what that's supposed to be. And, uh... I guess that house at the very top is the Nolan Manor. Maybe. Is this a pickled fish head? Ooh, pinball? Okay, okay. Hmm. 
Yep, I guess now I'm just going to work. Hmm, I'm getting messages here. I'd better silence my phone real quick. Hold on. One moment. There we go. Okay. Interesting and dare I say curious. The whole town laughed at me throwing up everywhere. Oh, okay. Alright, so this is going to be like your Stardew Valley day one go around and uh, meet all the townspeople. Alright. Right. I'm curious if... Oh, huh. Ooh, I can keep moving while the map is up. Neat. Okay, I'm betting... It's probably not possible to explore... Anywhere outside of the blue area on the map. So I probably can't go to, like, the old factory. What was that rustling? I had my map up. I didn't hear any rustling. I was too busy looking at the map to hear that. Whoa. Hmm. Spooky. Oh, shit. Oh, God. It's this goober. Ghosts can be scary, I know. Oh shit, we're dead. Oh, okay. Is this island the afterlife? One night out on the sea, something was wrong. I could feel it in me bones. Dang. I wonder if that means I, main character, am also dead? Okay.
It would be fine if he could walk a little faster. <laughs> oh, it's that cave that he's not supposed to go into. Anders. What if I just left? <laughs> just like, nah. Huh. Whoa. That's Klumbin. Klumbin is the best. We're all dead here. We all float. I've collected these funny people papers. They'll help me find my mom and dad. Oh, this guy is like a uh, raving hobo who lives on the island, I guess. Huh. Maybe I should have left. I mean, if I'm not actually dead yet, I'm about to be. Oh, God. I hate this. <laughs> okay. Wait, is that a left eye or a right eye? I can't really tell. This is a nightmare, literally. Just boop the seal of approval when you're done. All right, there you go. Okay. I hate this so much. Um. Okay. There you go. There's your mom. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, that must be what they look like. <laughs> I can see the resemblance. If I went into a cave and I saw this, I would immediately run miles away <laughs> I would be completely sure I'm about to die if I saw this in a cave Klumbin Nice! Hot dog Oh boy. Now it's dark out. Uh, I guess I'll keep following him. If I get on his bad side, he might, like, decide to kill me. I'd better appease him. Beer time. All right. Yeah, okay, I think he's good now. I'm gonna see if I can explore somewhere else. Maybe find someone who doesn't have a serial killer cave. This looks like a little graveyard here. Beth's place. What does that say? Oh, and Freddy. Oh, is that a Game Boy? Oh, shit. Oh, it's got three buttons. 
game buoy. I want to take it or like play the game on it. Oh man. Hmm. Oh, is this a secret path? Guess not. Man. Oh, there's there's my puddle still making squishy noises. Yeah, I assume it's supposed to be nighttime right now. Since I'm like carrying the lantern. I was just about to say, like, it seems like I didn't get a lot of time to meet the whole village, you know. I just got to meet the creepy serial killer who lives in the cave. Oh, is this a karaoke machine? Oh boy. Beth has the voice of a hundred sparrows, she does. Ready for the next mini game. All right, it's Friday Night Funkin. Let's go. Um. All right. Am I just supposed to press buttons? Okay. <laughs> Alright, so I guess this one is just kind of a press whatever buttons you want kind of thing. say I have succeeded. Need to go feed Klumbin. I kind of want to, you know, talk to other people about him. Like, are people aware of his creepy cave? Man, you know, when you live on an island where you can just walk everywhere, I guess, you know, you can get, like, really fucked up at the bar and you don't have to worry about driving yourself home. All right. Okay, sure. Alright, following a new character now. 
Whoa, Beth, look, it's snowing. Ah, Copenhagen. He's my, how do I put it? He's my client. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Get home and wrap up. Uh, okay. So I'm not going to her house. This is a very, like, laid-back sort of game. It seems like there isn't really, like, an underlying objective. There's not, like, a goal or a mystery to solve. You just kind of wander around this little island and talk to all the random people. Okay. Aw, oh, shit. We're back on the boat. I kind of wonder now if this is going to, you know, if it's going to turn out that everybody really is all dead. Or is it just the creepy cave guy who believes that? Whoa. Oh, what's all this then? Sue, George, and the bikers. When Anders died. Yo, what? Oh. Hmm. Oh, Jesus, that's 15 paragraphs, it looks like. I don't think I want to read the whole thing right now. And this, yeah, this is another long story. Well, you know, I don't think I have time to read all of those. Uh, yep, in fact, I have just hit the time limit. Okay. Well, alright, that's pretty cool anyway. Done with this one. Uh, you know, that was a neat little game. A cozy little adventure em up. Alright. But well, I'm ready to ready to cross that one off now. Uh, there goes that one. One game down. Let me go change my category over to... Phew! Now, I have never played, um, 
Limbo. It is, in fact, one of the games on my uh, list. It's in my uh, uh, roulette queue. I paused for a second there because I just opened up the Epic Launcher, where this one is, and it said, like, 0% installed. But I think that's just their crappy launcher uh, being mistaken. I think it is actually installed. Alright, and there it is. Controller recommended. Love it. Makes it easier on me. No, no, no. This isn't Limbo. Not at all. This is completely different. Phew. It was only a dream. Maybe that's going to be the uh, through line of all the games in this roulette batch. I always like when I can find a through line of like something that's in common with every installment. Or you know, every single game that was on the list. Maybe they're all going to be hand-drawn games. Maybe they're all going to feature dreams. I guess this is another one where it's like a mostly black and white world with just a few color things that I assume I'm going to be interacting with. Hmm. Well, I can't help him. I don't have access to blue yet. I hope I can be brave enough and enough of a game master to reach level red and face the dreaded cone. You. Hmm. It's up to you to guide Hugh around the things that Hugh cannot go through. You. That's the home again. Hmm. Man, there's another color. I don't know what to do. Too many colors here. Oh shit, I've acquired blue. Nice. Whoa. Since the beginning, we have pointed to the sky and declared it blue. Blue. It is this shared vision, this unquestioned understanding which connects us. But are you really seeing blue the same way I see it? Oh jeez, I hate this, like, philosophical question. 
like do does everybody see the same colors in the same way like i had somebody ask me that recently who was like what if like the blue that i see is like actually your orange or something and i'm just like yeah i don't think that's true <laughs> i just like i was just like no nah. <laughs> like no nah. i just think we all see the same colors because i'm like <laughs> That's such a just like pointless thing to wonder about. I don't like that question because even if we see different things, we all look at the same thing and can describe it as the same thing. Yeah, exactly. I'm just like, it, like, okay, so what if my blue is actually your orange? What, what difference does it make? The only thing I think, like, mildly interesting that might come out of that is, like, what if actually everybody had the same favorite color, you know? It was like, if that philosophical question was, you know, true, then that would be funny if we could somehow figure out that, like, oh, actually everybody's favorite color was the same one, we all just saw it in different ways. Also, I don't remember who said this to me, but I talked to somebody and I thought this, this was like a really dumb thing they said was like the there was no word for blue like in ancient texts. Like the word like the word blue or like descriptions of blue things never existed until like 500 years ago or something. And so they theorized that nothing was blue before that. And I was like, that sounds really stupid. <laughs> they talk about how, like, ancient texts describe the sky as being wine-colored and don't describe it as being blue because there was no word for blue because blue didn't exist. And I'm like, that sounds like bullshit. <laughs> Like, I don't think, or, like, it's not that, I don't think they said that blue didn't exist, but they said, like, human beings were not capable of seeing the color blue until more recently. Which, you know, like, I don't think it takes, you know, that short of a time for, like, eyes to evolve to see things differently. You know what I mean? Like, that's not going to happen in the course of, like, a few hundred years. It would take, like, a few million. I wonder if I can come back to that room. Yes. Aw, oh, man. It doesn't seem like I have a way to make the colors reappear. Unless... No. Weird. I bet if I can, like, come back here and shift to a different color, I can get those blocks to come back. Hmm. Oh, fuck! Wow, those rocks took me the fuck out. I figured I could jump on them. Uh, to go further into the color blue, <laughs> I was reading, like, uh, I was reading a book uh, a little while back, a few months ago, I guess, about, like, it had something to do with, like, the American colonial times, and it mentioned, like, an account at the time, oh shit, I didn't see those spikes there. Uh, it mentioned how somebody had written an account of, like, they saw Thomas Jefferson at, like, a ball or something, and that he was wearing an electric blue coat. And obviously, like, that was a modern author that wrote the phrase electric blue. But it got me thinking, like, how did they actually describe it, 
like in the source material because they would not describe something as electric blue in like pre-electricity times you know that would not like not be a concept to them well I found a potion I got one of the 28 potions. I don't know what I need to do with that. Looks like I'm going this way. Oh shit, purple unlocked. When is it time blue becomes teal or cyan? Mm. You're saying like, what is the teal threshold? Whoa, if I turn it blue, then there's a purple door. And now I can turn it purple. Oh god. I mean, I guess there are that many shades between the colors. Because, I mean, you can, like, open up Photoshop and look at a whole color palette and there are, you know, thousands of colors. All right, now I do want to go back here. And I want to go back to that one room. Oh, wait. Here's a place I couldn't reach before. I'm going to go back and get all the secrets. There's another potion. All right. Blue. Oh, wait, that might be a problem. Oh, shit, I don't think I can go back here. I think I'm stuck. Oh, fuck. Alright, I gotta be fast here. Shit. Whoa. Oh, cool. I'm glad it put me up here. Maybe the game thought I was stuck. Oh, shit. Mm, yeah, I don't know if I can uh, go back here. I think the rocks are going to, like, get me stuck. I can't get under them. Oh, that's interesting, too. I can't actually, like, switch to purple if I'm standing where some blocks are going to be. Hmm. Alright, well I guess I have to give up on going backwards now. Maybe... Ah. Oh. I want to be able to, you know, juke this rock. Oh, what? Hey, it didn't kill me that time. Huh. Alright. Now where was I? That, like, parallax scrolling effect on the background is pretty nice. It makes it look like there's just a gigantic sky back there or something. Did you know that the heart is at the very end? Who? It is the hardest color for our eyes to distinguish. Now, I'm not sure what that means. One step further than purple. Oh, shit. I just invented a new color. It's... It's called purple, but more purple. And I fear that this, this is where we currently reside. If reality is rooted in our perception, and you cannot perceive me. I'm not sure how, like, one color is more difficult 
to perceive than others. I mean, I can see it right there. It's purple. Hew into the color verse. Oh shit. Okay, this is a neat little mechanic. I have to switch back and forth to get the right boxes. Hmm. Whoa. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's a neat little mechanic there. I feel like there's a lot you could do in this game just with two colors. Make a neat little puzzle platformer. Oh, man. We're getting tricky now. I have to, like, shift colors in midair. That's a neat little mechanic. It kind of needs a way to like go back to no color mode. Like, why can't I do that? Oh, am I getting another color? Oh shit. Orange time. Clearly this is an idol to the god of orange. The university gardens were bathed in an earthy orange light when I first met Dr. Gray. Summer had come and gone in a cold autumnal crispness cooling the sun. I sat on the grass surrounded by my books and papers. When a cool breeze threatened to blow my notes across the lawn, a page escaped my reach until the flight. A man not much older than myself chased after it, catching it on his third or fourth attempt. I remember his gentle smile when he returned. He started talking and I was surprised that he had read my work in the university journal. He said he was a professor and that they hoped we could work together someday. The evil Dr. Gray. Oh, I think I'm back to the beginning now. This game was made just so this person's audiobook could have something to do in the background. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so now I can go back and get the secrets that I missed last time. Aha! There's a secret right now. Maybe it's going to be like Braid, where the whole thing was a, a metaphor for the nuclear bomb or whatever. The guy who made Braid is like kind of a fascinating little case study. Like, I don't know if you've seen the clip of Soldier Boy playing Braid, and he's just like cracking up at it and saying like there's not even a point to the game you just like rewind time like I love that video 
And apparently there was a video of uh, Jonathan Blow, the guy who made Braid, in like a documentary later on, and he was like, people just didn't understand Braid, it was just too much for them and shit. <laughs> But now he has a newer game, which is The Witness. And similar to this game, The Witness is full of, like, lengthy audiobook logs. I haven't played The Witness, I've just seen, like, part of it streamed. But yeah, it's full of these just, like, rambling uh, audio logs that don't really say much of anything. And I learned about him, he's apparently, like, got some kind of, like, vendetta against game completionists. And so he puts, like, really just, like, annoyingly tedious things to do in his games. That are, like, required in order to 100% them. Just because, I don't know why... He seems to think it's, like, really dumb when people try to do every single thing you can do in a game. Which is, like, a weird thing to take issue with, I feel like. Hmm. Oh shit, I fucked up. I like the little, like, pseudo-ragdoll physics when your character dies in this game. Okay, okay. Oof. Okay, see, last time... I didn't get killed by that. Maybe if the rock is like, oh shit. I was gonna say maybe if it's rolling slowly enough, I won't get killed by it. Nope, that one killed me again. How was I like able to push it last time? Oof. Color shift when it's tumbling? I mean, yeah. But I don't know. How much good that's going to do me. I don't want to have to, like, run all the way to the bottom. There we go. Oh, shit. So I was pushing it for a second. But then I just died again. I know this is doable. Hmm. Yeah, it, this this must be like some kind of glitch in the physics. Or maybe it's a speedrunner technique that I have just discovered and pioneered. Hmm. Yeah. That's kind of what I'm trying to do is like walk into it before it gets up to speed. I don't know. I did it, like, one of my first times trying it. Oh, there it goes, yeah! I did it! Speedrun tactic confirmed. Oh, jeez. Is there a way I can, like... Hmm. Oh, there's a map, huh? Oh, wow. I've got four out of four in the waterfall zone. All current progress will be lost. Does that mean I will lose my potions? Let me try that. If I do lose the potions, I'm not going back for them. Okay, I keep the potions. So I'm good. Oh, I don't have that color yet. Ugh. Oh, it's that guy that I saved. Alright. 
Oh shit, there's a potion right there. Oh, I can get it. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, this must be the uh, hub world. I'm sure there's at least one more color that I... Or one more potion that I don't yet have access to. Because I need more colors. Alright, well I think there's another path or two down here I can take, probably, right? There's the blue... All right, yeah, I can take orange. I still need yellow and red. Oh, time for another audio log. Wow. Did they discover uh, purple, but more purple? Oh, what's over here? Wait, that's not... That's not blue or purple. It's dark blue. Dumb. I don't have that color yet. Whoa. Look at this. You can have one color overlapping another color. Oh, I get this. So I need the orange block. Oh, but I can't take it through there. Um... Can I uh, reset this area, maybe? Oh wait, here we go. That's all I needed. Can I game the physics here to uh, get that orange block to drop down? I might be able to. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> I kind of dread when the puzzles get so complex that they're using, like, all eight colors or however many. Uh, 
Oh, snap. Now, uh, what am I gonna... Oh, I know what I need to do here. I need to, like, shuffle these pillars. So I can, like do this, I guess. And then do this. Alright, and then uh, something like this. Okay. Yeah, I think I th hmm. something, I think this is right. I need to get them lined up like this. Then I shift to purple. Alright, you following me? I do this, I shift to orange. I do this, shift to blue. Do this, shift to purple. That was a pretty clever one. Alright, so I think here I gotta shift to blue and then... Oh shit. Shift to orange. Oh, fuck. <laughs> they tricked me. Okay, so I got shift to blue. And now I can shift to orange. And now I can shift to purple. Interesting that the things that were uh, outside of my view did not uh, did not uh, drop down oh fuck <laughs> damn you know what they say better to come in the sink than to sink in the comb This time I will not. All right. Yeah, these little uh, sequences are pretty cool, running away from all the rocks. Nice. Physics. Oh, snap. Oh my god. I just noticed all of the rocks there. Oh, I'm gonna die now. Unless. Here's what I think. I'll do this. Uh huh. Now I am safe. Hey, pretty cool. Whoa. Skeletons. You're not getting under my skin. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, snap. This is cool. Oh. Okay, so like every third rock is invisible because it is a different color. Whoa. That's a cool premise. Every new little uh, puzzle that comes along, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, pretty cool, Hugh. 
this game did a pretty cool thing. What do you know? Wow. Look at that. Cool. Honestly, it would have been pretty funny if I got all the way up here and then the orange rock just like fell on my head and smashed me. Oh man. There's that Hollow Knight looking ass. I bet that's Professor Gray. I think I have unlocked pink. Mm-hmm. I wonder if this game is basically over once you have all of the colors, or if it still has like a lot of puzzle left using all of those colors. Because if it's over once you have all the colors, then I'm like basically halfway done. I do know that Dr. Gray and I spent many a time together. I would compliment him on his work and his cheeks would flush with a pinkness. <laughs> He'd notice and change the subject in fast. This game is so much a cross of like Limbo and Braid. How it's got, you know, the audio logs. Did Braid have audio logs actually? I don't remember. It's been so long since I played that. I want to say it did. Oh, man, I gotta come back here when I have yellow. That's a lot of backtracking to get all the secrets. But yeah, and like obviously the minimalist aesthetic that uh, Limbo has. Hmm. I feel like I'm going to need this box. Oh yeah, see there's a key down there. So I gotta do this. Oh, I'm on the wrong side. Oh, hmm. Okay, now that presents a challenge. How am I gonna push this block through a wall that is the same color. Maybe I'm not supposed to do that. Maybe I need to take blue over here. Oh, maybe. And then I need pink box. Oh, God. See, now I'm onto something. Oh, fuck! <laughs> I thought that might happen, honestly. I wanted to see if I could crush my own head with a box. Also, I like that the physics are kind of, like, fleshed out enough that I can, like, slide the lower box around such that another box can fall off and kill me. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, shit. Oh, I know what to do here. Oh, man. 
Maybe not. Ooh, hold on. This is actually more complex than I thought. I think I need to pull the pink box. And then there I go. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I gotta give this some credit. It's a little more complex than it looks. I I wonder though, like if this game is up to the task of juggling eight whole ass colors in the late game. Ooh, this is Oh, quite complex. So if I shift a pink here, all of the blocks are solid. Hmm. All right. You know, this game starts out so simple, but it's surprising, like, the level of complexity it can pull off with puzzles in this color-shifting zone. Let's go orange. And I made it. Hmm. Right, well, how can I get up there? Oh, wow, I didn't know this big old blue block slid. Hmm. Well, this isn't going to work. I bet I can also slide that orange block. Yep. Okay, this I can do. Might have messed up here. No. No, this must be right. Okay, so this one has to go here. And then the orange one has to go farther down, right? You following me here? Orange one goes here. Oh, wait a minute. This can't be right. Oh, I see. I see what I need to do here. I need the purple block over here. Yes. And I do that. Um, and now this, I think, yeah, okay, kick ass.
Wow, this seems like a real brain tickler here. Oh, well, this purple one's movable. That makes it easy. I think. I just gotta do some of this. Gotta push the purple here. Um, I need to be on the other side of this block. Right, right. I'm getting it. And then I've got the blue block here. And now I have access to orange block. Wait a minute. Hmm. Oh, oh yeah. Duh. Come on. There we go. <laughs> okay. So now I have orange block. Meaning... Okay, okay. Um, orange. Do that. I need to... Um... Oh, this is a this is a tough one here. Okay, I need the orange block to go this away. Get rid of orange, pull this block over here. And now orange block can go here. I realize I have hit the time limit, but I want to, like, finish this zone. It's kind of hypnotic, this game. Alright, now, I think I can shift pink and just push all of these at once. Get the key. Go blue, go purple, and I'm there, I'm in. Hmm. Okay. So where's the key in this room? Oh god, this room goes really tall. So there's the key. Alright, I can, uh, hmm. Who, um... How am I going to get through here? Alright, well I'm glad the physics are not complex enough to have that tip over. probably need that purple block. Probably need it to go down there. And then I need that. Alright, alright. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm as good as there. Hmm. 
Looks like another action platformer sequence. Oh shit. Oh hey, I got a uh, secret potion and I thought I had just fucked up. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm, I think I'm going to call it quits here. I thought I was going to be, like, at the end of a major zone here. Like I was going to unlock a new color, but I'm getting a little carried away, I think. I think I need to move on to the next one. Hugh was pretty good, though. Pretty nice, like, addictive little puzzles there. Oh, I meant to mention earlier in this stream, but, um... I was talking so much about the Epic Launcher. Uh, the free game that they're giving away this week is Cook Serve Delicious 3, which I highly recommend getting. Uh, if you have the Epic Launcher installed, then like, just like get on there and grab that game because Cook Serve Delicious games are really good. And 3 is no exception. That is like absolutely worth free. It's worth giving a play. Alright, Wander Song. And I'm going to leave a reminder about that in my Discord whenever I'm done here. Because I do not want people to miss out on that game. Uh, okay, so this one I believe I own on Steam. think I found it. Okay. I think I own this one on multiple platforms. Like, I think it's been given away more than once. Oh, I'm already in control here. I see the timer is fucked up, so... Let me try and move that. Yep, there's that. Okay, okay. Oh, huh. So this is the D-pad's control. I think it would be better if, like, I moved using the D-pad and uh, the analog stick did that. All right. Cool. Cool, cool. Okay, so the right analog stick does the same thing as the D-pad. Oh, shit. Eh. Uh-oh. Ah, there we go. I remember hearing something about this game, like, it has some kind of, like, secret, um, ARG kind of thing hidden in it, or, like, some kind of really dark secret left in. That's the only thing I know about it beforehand. All right. Man. <laughs> Sorry, your planet is doomed. <laughs> A 
I was gonna say, um, just like Hugh. Oh shit. Oh, was that another dream sequence? Is that yet another uh, game with that unifying feature tonight? All right. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm just like Hugh. This game has like a uh, color wheel that you select with your right analog stick. But this one has the colors in different places. What do I do? There's a pretty cool, like, paper cutout aesthetic to this game. Who's this? How were your dreams last night? I don't remember. Ghosts? Oh, oh, that's pretty neat. So it's like if you match your singing color. Oh, shit. That's cool. So you have to do little, like, song combos to interact with the environment and make stuff happen. Wait, but now what do I do? Hmm. Oh, okay. So I can kind of, like, save something that I've interacted with. Gotcha. Alright. Sigh. Ah, the world is ending. Just like the dream. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be looking up, after I'm done here, um, what the big secret is in this game. Because I think I remember it being something, like, really surprising and fucked up. Golly gee, me oh my. Whoa. Is this the mayor? <laughs> it is the mayor. Ah, oh, that's pretty neat. So I have to sing to counter the ghost. Neat. <laughs> Ooh. What did he mean by this? Alright, so I guess kind of the... Seems like the main mechanic in this game is going to be... Just do like a Simon Says, repeat the patterns. Look at this bird, it's got like all of the colors on my color wheel. Wow. <laughs> oh wait, I can't go any farther this way, I guess? Hmm. Oh no, wait, here I go. Oh, 
Oh shit. It's the mask guy. Dead on the ground. Um. Okay. Uh. Is this the secret fucked up ARG? Whoa. Just being around here makes me yawn. Hmm. Curious. <laughs> Alright, well, there's got to be something to that. I don't know if it's a creepypasta ARG or if that's just something I need to address later in the game. But alright, I guess I need to go sing to all the spooky ghosts around here. Okay. Marley and Francine's house. I don't see any spooky ghost in here. Mmm. <laughs> Interesting little uh, dialogue system there. All right, I'll definitely uh, go in here and sing to a ghost. Ah, so this one doesn't actually show you the color. So you just have to match the movements on this one. That's neat. Oh shit. What does he mean by this? Maybe I need to be writing down what all of these shapes are. And uh, they're actually going to translate to something. In the game's secret ARG. I want to say the, uh, the secret had something to do with, like, having to match a song, like, that doesn't really have any prompts to it, or something like that. I don't know. Or maybe that's just me thinking that would be cool. It would be cool, like, if there is a song in the game and you can use all of your different colors here to match... Uh, the sounds it's making and unlock a secret. Wait, have I gotten all the ghosts? Uh, I guess there's just more ghosts coming from this direction. Who's this? A dark spirit appeared in Ruby's house. Alright, I got this. That doesn't seem to be bothering her. Do you need help? No. <laughs> okay. Neat. Alright, 
I, I'm assuming that this whole game is going to be uh, increasingly complex Simon Says interactions. Yeah, I'll bet you these ghosts are, like, delivering a secret message. Well, there's only, like, four different letters, or maybe five. So it's not like there's really a whole lot they can be saying. Yup. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like if the ghosts were saying real words, it would be kind of probably easier to tell. Oh boy. Just do your best. <laughs> okay. One other. Oh shit, Ruby can teach me the song. Okay. Ruby, teach me the song. No. <laughs> <laughs> this game's pretty funny. Oh yes, that song. I may remember it. Oh, she'll only do it once. Oh shit. This is tough. I'm having to like guitar hero this song. You expect me to remember that? So that's how it goes. I knew you weren't really that huge a jerk. Spooky ghosts are back. I have to defeat a whole gaggle of them. Oh, snap. These ghost characters kind of remind me of something, but I'm not sure what it is. Hmm, this time the colors are not shifting on their message. What could they mean by this?
I swear, like, since I learned that there's some kind of, like, massive secret, like, ARG thing, like, it's making me second guess every single thing in this game. I'm like, I bet there's a secret message in what the ghosts are saying. I'm like, oh, I bet there's gonna be some kind of song that I need to recite from memory. Maybe I need to be singing along with the background music. And that's how I unlock a secret. Hmm, well, there's nobody slumber in here anymore. Oh, I missed one entirely. I hope it's okay that I fucked up that song. Whoa. Welcome to the spirit world. <laughs> Sing the Earth Song. It's so not that easy. Has no melody. Carries the combined will of all life on this planet. It's a whole thing. Big castle. Can't miss it. Like a quest. Hmm. Oh. That wasn't it. Whoa. Neat. Hmm. Alright, so I guess I need to only sing upwards. Oh, this is this is kind of a neat mechanic here. This thing will actually like move in accordance with the notes you're singing. That's a cool mechanic. You know, I feel like it would have been a big challenge to make, like, a puzzle platformer type of game based around barred mechanics. But they figured it out, man. They have cracked the code. Hmm. I need that one to come down here and get me. Ooh. Ooh. I kind of wonder something. Can I, like, crush myself if I just go straight up? Hmm. I guess not really. You know what this kind of reminds me of is um, the old point-and-click adventure game, Loom. That was like, you know, the main puzzle mechanic in that game was it gave you like a musical bar and you would play certain notes in order to sort of cast spells.
I bet if LucasArts back in the day could have had a color wheel like this, they would have done that. Whoa. This is like a surprisingly complex game. There's a lot you can do with sound mechanics, huh? Alright, I've got the bird. Oh no. Ah, see, I have to sing that one to come over and get me. Yeah, see, this is pretty cool. So the game is more than just, like, Simon Says puzzles. Oh-ho! And, like, I really like how it has sections like this where they take away your vision, basically, and make you rely on sound. Is there something to this room? Apparently not. Oh, hmm. Hmm. What do I need to do with this? What happens if it goes up here? Whoa. Curious. So I need to take this bird over here with me and then get the plant to lift me up so that I don't have to waste the bird's jump. Wow. Alright, and then I jump up here. Interesting. Oh, what's down there? I can't see it, though. Got it. Okay. That one really did make you, like, entirely rely on sound. Well, for one of the notes. So can I jump up here? Alright. And then do this. Hmm. Looks like I done made it. But what's over here? It's nothing. This is a little uh, staircase. Oh, is this the Overseer? The Overseer? Meow is not. <laughs> hmm. 
the Dream King is taking a nap. Me usually a few years. Hmm. <laughs> oh my god. I can do it if you're too scared to. I can sing real loud. That is not going to work. Only the bell atop the castle could do it. Do not ring the bell. I'm totally going to. Don't do this! <laughs> Oof. Ow. This is pretty funny. So I'm guessing now this is going to be like implemented in the puzzle mechanics. That this little cat butterfly is gonna stop me from hitting a note for long enough. This is like his job, right? Meowby. <laughs> Alright, I think I was wrong about that last part. I think <laughs> the the uh, dream fairy smacking you in the face was just a thing that happens. Wait, how do I ring the bell? I, I don't understand. Do I just have to sing really loud under it? Interesting. I just gotta rock it back and forth like this. This is a really, like, surprisingly pretty game. Oh, more ARG speak. What? Hmm. What? Hmm. Oh, shit. Now I have the Wingdings language unlocked. Fantastic. I adventured into the spirit world and solved a bunch of puzzles and fought with a cat butterfly so I could come meet you. Okay. No. The Earth Song channels the voice of all life on this planet, and if all that life isn't in perfect harmony, the song won't work. So, kind of not seeing the point. What about the rest of the universe? It's 
all going the way. <laughs> that sounds tough. Alright. This game is pretty neat. I can't believe that guy. I think you can actually sing the Earth song. What how if the Overseer won't help me? There's six more and each one's got a piece, so maybe... Screw this guy. And let's find the others. Shrug. Gotcha. Exit tree to your left. Peace. <laughs> hmm. Gotcha. I feel like kind of the downfall of the fact that I'm doing these every week now is I'm finding a lot more games that I want to continue playing after the stream's over. Like, I'm pretty curious to see where this one goes. That and like Steam World Dig 2 that I played either last stream or the stream before. That one was really good. I want to get around to finishing that. It's so like, oh, still got ghosts to sing away. Thanks, Clyde. Oh jeez, it's that kid again. See, now I can understand them. Blah. <laughs> what? That's swell. Hot dog. <laughs> Good people of Lang Tree. Oh, why can't you see? Though we appear ghostly, we're not enemies. We are Ron, John, and Mary, your folks who have just passed, but this world is ending. And so we've amassed. You won't get your fair chance to live your lives through. And that's why we've come back to spend time with you. Well, I'll be. Pa, is that you? He said yes. Oh, cool. I'm the new mayor now. <laughs> also kind of a dope. 
most of our problems can't actually be solved by singing. <laughs> Interesting. You were talking in the spirit language. Did you meet with the overseer? Hmm. Oh, okay. I saw when I launched this game, I think it had something like uh, 75 Steam achievements, which seemed like a lot for a little puzzle platformer like this. But I actually haven't like even unlocked any yet. I figured I would have gotten one or two just for story progression at this point. Ooh. I will say, like, one kind of flaw in this game is whenever it does a, like, lighting effect, like it has right now, you get these, like, jagged edges around the characters. Which I think is really just, like, a flaw of anti-aliased, like, vector graphics like this. It's kind of like a uh, like a faulty chroma keying effect. How you can kind of still see the original color around the edges. Old schmold. So full of hope, unlike my granddaughter. Psh. Why don't you tell us your name then? What the fuck is this? <laughs> um, none of these are the correct letters that I need. Uh, can I have more letters, please? Interesting. Um, okay, so I've only got one vowel here, and it's E. Um, L. Oh my god, it gives me different letters every time. L O Um Um <laughs> Long <laughs> Your name is Long Sure That's, wow, alright. I was not expecting it to have a, a name entry mechanic like that. That's pretty cool. Wow. So I guess I've just canonically made my character's name long. Let's get going down this hill. No, you're heavy. 
an overseer access point in there for the Queen of Winds. There's monsters in this cave. Uh-oh. Monsters. Wait, where am I trying to go here? Oh, here, I guess. This is, you know, one of those rare games where I think the uh, sense of humor actually works for it. Getting close now. Why are you lowering your voice? This bridge is creepy. <laughs> oh, snap. I like, it's, it, you probably can't hear it on the stream, but she makes these little, like, squawking noises periodically that I kind of love. Great. All right. Uh, probably... <laughs> Let me handle it. Why? <laughs> sure. Looks pretty hard. No, I can do it. I'll sing even harder this time. I see. We have to, like, compare power levels here. I have to sing in the opposite direction that this monster is screaming. Oh, that's tricky. <laughs> this game really is like... I, I keep saying it, but it does like a surprising amount of things with this like... sound mechanic that I would not have thought possible. Look at that. You sing nice. But that won't fix my boyfriend. <laughs> Slowly drifts over on the broom. Is it time for me to dish out some magic? Do you think singing might help? I can't wait for like every single problem in this game to be solved through singing. Oh, I just got the first achievement. I got defeated the troll. But yep, sadly I'm out of time on this one. Whoops. This is a really good game, though. I really want to, like, play more of this. Alright. Yep. Yeah, that, that one was really good. I'm sad to see that game go. Done with that. Okay. Next game up. Let me switch the stream info here. Let's go to next Machina. <laughs> Alright, I think this is another Steam game of mine. Well, I can't believe I played that long and I only got one achievable. 41% of players get up to that point in the game. Wow. 
I want to check real quick if there's like a more common achievement that I just didn't get. Oh, they're all hidden for some reason. Wow. Interesting. So like there's a long, long, long stretch of achievements that like 26% of people have in this game. It's weirdly like conspicuous. I kind of wonder what that's about. I wonder if this is more like shenanigans that have to do with whatever like ARG is hidden in this game. But like I want to I kind of thought that whole like whatever ARG dark secret thing hidden in the game um would be like the main most interesting thing about it, but I kind of want to play it regardless of that. I want to play it just because like it seems like a pretty good game. Alright, I have found Nex Machina in my library here. Um, let me start the timer if this game will let me. Ah. I can't, like, alt-tab out of this game. It's really annoying. Ugh. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna have to, like, close the game. And start the timer when it's closed, and then launch it again. And I will not be at all surprised if the timer stops working when I'm actually in the game. Okay, okay. Looks like the timer is still working. For now. Hmm. I'm a little concerned that the first thing I'm greeted with is like a profile bar up at the top with my name and zero currency. All right. More enemies and humans. Even more enemies and humans. All righty. Oh. Okay. I'm just like dropped right into it. Looks like this is a twin stick shooter. Looks like the enemies explode into voxels when you kill them. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. Well, uh, props to this game for not dropping me into any kind of like tutorial or anything. It's just, you're in the game, go. Triple dash. What is that? No death clear. Oh, I'm supposed to, like, collect the humans, I see. All humans saved. Okay, so the face buttons on the controller just fire in cardinal directions. Okay. Ah, neat. All humans saved. The game, so like, it might look a little laggy on the stream, like it's maybe stuttering a little. Uh, it's happening on my end also. Oh, fuck. Alright, I have to use my dash to get through those things. Secret human. Oh, human combo. Look at that. Wait, am I dead again? Dash. 
There's a human combo if I get multiple humans in a row. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, so I guess, like, you can't even touch an enemy or you're dead. Shit. Okay. Shield. Shield lost. Yeah, they were very clearly trying to make this, like... A retro style game. Oh my god, this level is really annoying. I, I'm trying to like dash through the enemies so I can save the last human. And it seems like I can't really dash through enemies, maybe? <sighs> Alright, I am not five minutes into this game and I'm already feeling like this might be one that I stop early. What is going on? Why did I take damage on that laser? Human combo times two. I feel like it would help if I had like, I don't know, a special move or something. Like a different attack that I could use. Oh, all right. I got an achievement called Not In My House. <laughs> this is really annoying. Seems like my dash was extra short that time. Yeah, I, I don't get it. Like... Sometimes I can dash through the laser, no problem, and then sometimes it doesn't seem to cover as much ground as it should. Or just, like, doesn't trigger. Oh, yeah, well, I guess that was my fault. I let that enemy touch me. Oh, boy. I'm about ready to stop this game after, like, ten minutes. I don't understand what's going on. Yep, got touched by the enemy. That alone is just a mechanic that I really don't like in games. Oh, I see, there's like a wall down there. <sighs> like, I couldn't tell that like right underneath that laser there's a wall that I can't get through. Okay, I have... I literally have no idea why I just can't dodge through the lasers sometimes. Sometimes I can, and sometimes I can't. Uh-huh. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna probably give this game, like, two more minutes. And if I'm not having fun in two more minutes, then I think I'm done with this game. I don't even know why I died that time.
Yep. I don't know how I'm supposed to, like, save the humans. Oh, I got a rocket launcher. I wonder how I use that. Oh, well, there it went. It was the right trigger. Yeah, I couldn't really do anything there. We got stuck in the corner. Well, there's the rocket launcher again. Oh, wait, now I have a sword. And human lost. Okay. Yep. Boy, this game is, uh... It's gonna be tied with Necroworm for, like, game I have fastest lost patience for. Oh, human lost. I think the game would be more fun if I didn't have to, like, try to save humans in addition to trying to kill all the enemies. Just, like, killing the enemies and avoiding the traps is a big enough problem. But, like, add into that that you have to, like, jump into the crowds of enemies to try and save the humans just kind of like takes away from what could otherwise be like pretty fun action I think disruptor killed Alright. Oh, I'm getting trapped here. Yeah. Well, I didn't know that I couldn't go that way. You know, didn't know that a whole line of enemies was going to spawn behind me if I tried to... Or rather, spawn on top of me if I tried to go that particular direction. Triple dash. I kind of feel like in... I don't know why I died there. I feel like in games in general, it's always less fun when there are like non-hostile characters that you have to try to save and like protect from the danger. It's more fun when you're only protecting yourself from the danger. I'm just gonna say that is like objectively true. Hmm. I think I'm good on this game actually. Succumb to the power of the machine overlords. You know, I sure did. I'm actually, like, totally fine with rage quitting this one after 12 minutes. <laughs> I do not feel bad about that. I'm like, you know, I, I kind of get it. It's very much like a, uh, what's that game, like Smash TV or like, like Gauntlet. It's very much one of those, but I feel like it doesn't improve enough on the formulas of those games to make it fun. Like, you know, there was a Gauntlet game for, like, the GameCube and PS2 and Xbox, I think. Um, one or two of those, actually, that were, like, more fun than that. Because, I mean, those actually, like, uh, built on the, f the uh, formulas of those games, and they added, you know, like... Uh, hub world and like unlockable levels and uh, upgrades that you could find and like store for later and 
stuff like that, you know, progression and all. I get the appeal of, you know, like a retro arcade style game, but I don't know. I feel like in the modern day, I'm just not that into something where it's super difficult and you have to memorize levels and enemy patterns and keep doing the same thing over and over again and then eventually make a little progress. Like, I I don't know. I feel like that kind of gameplay should have gone the way of the arcade. Like, that was all good for uh, games that were trying to extort as many quarters out of you as possible. But now I'm just like, you know... Your game can be fun. It doesn't have to be a grueling experience for everybody. <laughs> you know? Like, you can... You can just kind of, like, want people to get through your game. Let's see. My next game is City of Brass. I've got that on my Ebbin launcher. It's going to be the final game here. Let me start my timer. And it works. Actually, this one might be a mouse and keyboard game. I'm not sure. Because I think it is a first-person game. Mm. Genie! Could that be the city of brass? Oh boy. <laughs> All right. They really like throw you into this one. Okay, so we're gonna need to invert look. I'm gonna save and close. You see it, like, struggling to decide whether or not I'm using keyboard controls or if I'm using gamepad controls. Anytime I'm not using the mouse, it's like, uh, gamepad! Uh, gamepad! Gamepad! Oh, hold on. Wait. Shit. Um, adjust the slider until the one is barely visible. Um... No, I don't think I will. <laughs> ah. The fool. Starting level. Oh, this is cool. So I guess there's different characters. Yeah. The Traveler, starting loadout, sword, whip, and that. <laughs> they both have the same loadout. Mm -hmm. So does the soldier. Unlocks at rank yeah. three. Love these voice clips. <laughs> what should we have each character say? I'll just have them laugh. Hoo hoo. Ha ha. Ha Alright, I'll be Iggy the Fool. I think I accidentally um, told it to skip the tutorial, but maybe I'll be fine without one. Um, hey, cool, it didn't save my controls. Um, I checked invert look. Oh, that's gamepad settings, never mind. Mouse settings, invert look, jeez. What's this stream settings? Interactivity cooldown. Interesting. Oh, I probably am going to have to, like, I would have to find, like, my stream key to make this do anything. Oh, 
Um, oh, you know what? Maybe I'll try it. Let me see if I remember my password here. I haven't had to log in in a long time. Is it this, maybe? Nope. I can never remember my password for shit. Ah, okay. Enter the code found in your Authenticator app. Oh, they probably texted it to me. Alright. That must be it. Authorize. Alright, cool, I'm connected. I don't know if anybody's <clears throat> even in my chat right now. Let's give it a low cooldown, though. So if anybody's there, and if anybody wants to try that, I guess there is some way to interact with this game via Twitch. I don't know. Alright, oh, the sensitivity is very low in this game. Can I turn that up? Why is aim Y sensitivity locked? Okay. Let's definitely crank that up. Okay, that's too sensitive. <laughs> How about like right here? Nice. All right, that's better. All right. Let's drink potion. Oh, broth of the fowl. Excuse me? Oh, okay, so it looks like um if anybody types those Twitch prompts into the chat, then different things will happen to my game. That's pretty cool. I don't know if anybody is there right now, but if anybody's casually watching and, like, listening... Oh, Lord of All Cheese activated enemies hard. Okay. Ah. And it even puts your name up there, so I know I have you to thank. Nice. Okay. <laughs> ah! What the hell? Okay. Oh shit. Hey, this game seems pretty cool though, actually. Like fighting skeletons, throwing things at skeletons. Grabbing treasures. Okay, maybe it is still a little too sensitive. Give me just a second. Do it like that. Oh, okay, that's what the lock is for. Okay. Huh. Oh, Lord of All Cheese activated. Give health. Thank you. Ah, piss. What was that? <laughs> Ow, shit. Oh, that killed me. Okay. Killed by Breath of Disintegration. Well, yeah, sure. Hmm. Alright, find the exit. This looks like I started with another potion. What's this gonna be? It was a tonic of healing. What's this? I can make a wish. Betoon the Curative. Should I give him my health? Um... Maybe I don't have 250 health? Ah! I don't understand. Wish? Hmm... Oh, maybe that's like the gold cost? I don't know. 
Can I, like, disable that trap? Or what? Or do I just kind of have to eat that? I don't know how I'm supposed to get through that. Seems like I was required... Hmm. Required to take that damage. Who is screaming at me? Ah! Oh shit. Oh nice. <laughs> Looks like my whip like disarmed that enemy. Oh god. Get out of here. I appreciate the ragdolls. Yeah. Okay. Treasure. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm guessing the genie thing was like a, a a gold cost. Ah, shit. Ah, it's the breath of disintegration again. Oh, there he is. Dadosu the cell sword. Oh shit. I missed. Okay. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I'm gonna die now. Oh god. Hey, Lord of All Cheese spawned an ally. Awesome. Oh shit. I'm gonna do this. Oh, okay. So that genie also spawned me an ally. What is that? Get out of here. Hmm. Damn it! <laughs> I'm so sick of these traps. Okay. Another random potion here. Mixture of fortune. I don't know how it's intended to avoid traps like that. Oh, okay, so I can, like, use my whip and trigger them? Gotcha. Is this a brick that I just picked up? Eh. Ah. Oof. The sensitivity is still a little too high. Like I'm whipping around way too fast. Okay, I think maybe now it's at a good level. Can I? Oh, I thought it was telling me I could pick up the guy's sword. What is this? Does that just explode? Gotcha. Oh, a potion? Nectar of time. Ah! Okay, okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it looks like I've got time slowed down from that potion. Spawn loot? Oh, nice. Hell yeah. Man, that, that twinch, Twitch integration potentially could, like, be a huge influence. What is all this? I want the Sword of Antar. Oh wait, why don't I wish? I think that, like, raises the prices. Yeah, I'll take the Kolpesh of Teeth. Rad. Oh, and now what's up here? More treasures. Links of propulsion? Well, let's try it. I think I just bought a new whip and a new sword. Cool, cool. More treasure. Hmm. 
Oh man, there's treasure in the vases. Oh my. You know, that last game I played... Oh shit! There's like a golden llama from Lord of All Cheese. Um, shit! Uh, I was gonna say that last game I played could have taken a page from this one, because like, just interacting with the environment in this game is fun. Like, throwing stuff around is fun. Smashing pots. Like, just doing the most basic stuff in the game is fun. What's that? Whoa! And there's like extra maneuverability that I just learned about. Love that. This... I swear, the thing is still too sensitive. Maybe I should have just left it alone at the beginning. Because I feel like I'm constantly just like whipping around uncontrollably. Alright. I don't really know what is the point of grappling onto things like that. Oh, but it's cool. Whoa. <laughs> this kind of feels like, you know, if they had made, like, Oblivion into a roguelite type of game. Oh god. What's that floating skull over there? That looks no good. Oh god. <laughs> Who's screaming over here? Oh, that guy is. What have we here? I can summon a companion with this guy. Or wish for a more expensive companion. Oh, it's not more expensive, but hey, there it is. Ooh. He looks like um, Clayface from Batman. Hmm. Oh man, I do need health. Give me that. Oh god. <laughs> oh shit. The fire burns. What is Clayface doing for me here? Gotta get the gold. Bring the gold or I'll bring the pain. Ah! <laughs> Those guys really spook you. you. Open up the door and they're just right there. Oh. Did did the spikes just propel that guy into the sky? I'll take this. Nice, nice. Ah! Alright. <laughs> Use the lamp to uh, trigger the spikes, and then just take damage from the fire instead of the spikes. I guess that's how I roll. Look at that. I completed a level. <laughs> Can I do it again? Ah, oh, fuck! <laughs> okay. Immediately killed by the pit of spikes. Alright. But this time, I will have learned my lessons. Let's say, uh... Nostrum of Venom. Well, I don't want that.
I guess I'm just going to be at half a heart until I, uh... Oh, God! Until the timer runs out. My controller just vibrated off of my desk. And by some miracle, I caught it. I hate that shit. <laughs> yeah! That rules. I remember reading about this game before I ever played it that, like, I think it was um, made by some developer who had made, like, a famous game a long time ago. Like, I want to say something like Prince of Persia. Wait, what was that? Body of Thorns? Oh, cool. That was like a new piece of armor. Huh. Look at that. I'm probably just inclined to say Prince of Persia because this is, like, kind of a similar setting. Lord of all cheese activated enemies medium. That's alright. I can deal with enemies medium. No problem. Boosh. Ah! Fucking spike traps. Every time. Who's screaming at me? Who dares? Wait, I don't think they can even get up to me. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> oh, enemies easy. And enemies medium. Oh my god, so many enemies. Alright, I'm good now. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. I guess I will buy the Blade of Cleaving. Cool, cool. So that seems like kind of the intended mechanic here. You gotta use your whip to activate the traps. Activated spawn pickup. What is that? Is it this lantern? Is that what was spawned? So that's pretty cool. I think I just discovered the uh, the enemies get disarmed if you specifically whip their hands. Ooh. So it kind of takes like some finesse to actually disarm the enemies with your whip. Otherwise they just kind of get stunned. Whoa. Oh, snap. <laughs> yeah, this game kind of beats ass. Oh, yeah, you've got no bow now. Oh, and what's this? Oh, snap. You can also uh, trip them if you whip their feet. That rules. Yeah, this is like a pretty bomb-ass game. Hmm, well, I don't want that stuff. Well, can't afford it, rather. So if I trip that guy, oh yeah, he's got no moves now. Boom! Knock him down, and knock him out. I'll just trip everybody. Oh man, that rules. Get out of here. <laughs> Alright, what do we got going on here? Disable traps for 500. Wow. That seems like the kind of shit I could use. Oh, what's all this? Secret treasure? Nice. There is so much cool shit in this game. This is like a really pleasant surprise. Ah! No sword for you. You get the the breath of disintegration instead. That stuff is really bad. Oh yeah. Oh 
Oh man. Gotcha. <laughs> That's awesome. Nope. Mm. Oh god. New divine burden unlocked. Rebirth. What does this mean? Disarmed. What are you going to do now? Uh oh. The thing I wonder is like, since the whip has kind of a wind up to it, I wonder if like the enemy gets tripped like with the whip action. Like, could I, like if there was an enemy over there, could I like wind up here and then hit their feet and trip them? these breakable? What's going on here? Hmm. What's all this? Ooh, summon a companion? I'll do that. Is this a secret? It is. Mm. Oh. Get disarmed. Get tripped. Look at all these treasures I found. Yeah, this shit kind of rocks. Really liking this game. I was thinking that, like, Wander Song might be the favorite of the night, but it might be this one. Man, like, the core gameplay might be kind of whatever, but, like, just the presentation of it is so cool. Like, having the ragdoll physics and everything makes it so much more fun. And just all the, like, extra razzle-dazzle they threw in. Like the, uh... Lord of All Trees activated spawn pickup. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, what? What is this? Puzzling foul. What could this mean? Wait, am I? Oh god. It's it's burning things. Am I hitting a time limit here? I just noticed that hourglass up in the corner. I think maybe I was like fucking around for too long. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, I guess there is a time limit then. That did not even occur to me before. Buy insurance? What is insurance? Doesn't seem to tell me. Okay. Sure. Insure me. What does he do? Um... For a wish, Zyboff will guarantee your heir an even greater share of your inheritance. I'm guessing that means, like, if I die, um, then I get to keep some of my money in the next run. Oh, yes. What did I find here? Souls of Abrasion. What do these do? Your running slides will now scrape against those you trip. Running slides now? What's a running slide? Do I have to, like, sprint and then... Oh, wow. Alright, so that's really difficult to do on the keyboard. You have to, like, run with shift and then press control to slide. That's hard to do. Ugh. This place sucks. Yeah. 
Alright, let's see if I can do this. Am I supposed to just run into them like that? Okay. What do we have here? A health shrine? Give me health. It's really cool how they made these, like, 3D randomized environments with some, like, verticality to them also. I can't reach that hook. Whoa. Ah, shit. Wait, is that an enemy genie? Ow. Oh. Stop. I wish you would stop. I wish I would find another health shrine. It is the swindling. What bad luck, fail. Come on. All right, let's go. Huh. All right, now that I know about that tripping move, that's pretty cool. Just like slide into him. Man. I kind of like that this game has like the whole like rogue light aspect to it. But I, I would also like to play, like, a game with these mechanics that has, like, a, like, static progression to it also. Because it kind of reminds me of, like, Painkiller. Um, it had, like, a level or two in, like, a pretty similar setting to this. Oh, what, what's this potion? Essence of the Glacier. Whoa. No, uh, I don't want that. That's the Nostrum of Venom. Wait, where am I supposed to go here? Wait, through this door? Ah. Trying to bamboozle me there. Who's screaming? Hua! Oh, I froze that guy. Look at that. With my aura. Ooh. Oh, nice. Lord of all cheese activated give health. Thank you. I really needed that. Sad that it was only one heart, though. What's all this? Fist of daggers. That sounds awesome. I kind of want to try that. Oh, what? I thought it was going to like give me a punching weapon. A forceful push becomes deadlier when these adorn your hands. How do I do a forceful push? That must be like another mechanic I wasn't aware of. Yeah! Boosh! Give me that. What do we have here? Another potion? Fluid of the Prospector. Oh shit, it shows me where all the gold is. Nice. More gold? I see there's a lot of gold I missed in the earlier part of the level. Who's this? The Trafficker. I'm not sure what these are, but... Oh, I'm at the end of the level. I was going to say I don't want my buff to run out. So, uh, I'll buy the expensive one. Give me the Braid of the Vine. 
eliminates the effects of entanglement. And I'm not sure what that is. Cool, cool. Oh shit, I'm at one of the boss levels, it looks like. Well, I'm assuming this is a boss. The skull marking. Find and defeat the gatekeeper. Oh! Okay. Coin of soldiering. I'll try this. what it do? Makes any guard summoned from the sellsword genie deadlier in combat. Okay. Yeah! Let's go. Oh man. I'm about to die. Huh. Oh, nice. More health. Thank you. <laughs> nope, got the Prospector potion again. I love his fluid. Oh, God. Ah! What is this? Some kind of magician? Gah! Ow! No! It was that breath of disintegration. It got me again. I'm gonna see if you... Oh wait, hold on. Wait, what's this burdens and blessings? Increase player damage? Hmm. Oh, okay. Interesting. Um... Let me look at the controls real quick. No, not there. The key binds, then. Okay, so shove is F. I didn't even realize that was a thing there. So that's a whole, like, mechanic I have not been using. Whip alt fire is Q. And chart of revelation is M. I guess there's no difference to the characters. I'm gonna try the Traveler. It seems exactly the same. But I don't know. Yeah! Oh! So it seems like the Traveler is sprinting by default and you have to hold shift to walk. I like that a lot better. What's this mana potion? Tincture of the Gale. Hmm. Now oh, there's that shove move. Oh, more treasure. So much money. Ah! It seems like this uh, tincture of the gale is helping to activate traps before I step on them. I much appreciate that. Alright, alright. Hmm. Let's try this. What's that? Control your descent to the ground. Hmm. Oh man, another secret treasure. It seems like it just kind of makes me fall slower. I don't know. Oh god. I'm getting fucked up. Yeah. 
Oh god. I need like something to throw at these guys. Oh, there's so many. Oh god. Okay, okay. Uh oh. It's another archer. I will say, like, one thing that I always want more out of in terms of, like, the uh, short-run roguelite games is just, like, more things that make bigger changes to the gameplay, you know, more items and stuff. Disable traps for 500? Eh. Oh god! <laughs> How amazing would it have been if I chose to dis chose not to disable the traps and then immediately fell victim to one? Ah. This, this really is just a good-ass game. I can't get over this. This whole, like, two-weapon system is really fun. Like, having the context-sensitive use of the whip is great. Oh, he can't make the jump. Look at him. What a fool. Got him. Alright, I'll summon a companion. I kind of feel like this uh, new character I'm playing as might also, like, attack faster but weaker. Because it seemed like those no-legs guys would always die in one hit before. But maybe I was fighting them with a better weapon or something. Okay. Made it to the end. Alright, this level is probably going to be the last one before I am done for the night. What's this? I found the ghost chicken. Here, you take this. It looks like the ghost chicken is stinky. It made a little green fart cloud come out. Alright. <laughs> that was enough of that. Finding lots of money. I wish I would find more equipment. Oh, a potion. 
me just slurp that up. A mixture of fortune. Ow, God. There's one of those ghost chickens again. Lord of all teas activated play fake out sound. Okay. I was wondering who was screaming at me. Hoop. Hmm. Gah. I hate those, like, spraying traps. There it is again. What is this thing? Why is it here? Here. Does it just, like, distract those guys or something? Is this a health potion? Nice. Okay, so, like, they just stand around and scream at the chicken, I guess. Alright. I guess it's literally just a distraction. It sure distracts me. Oh. I just snagged another potion. Emulsion of immunity. I wonder what I'm immune to. There it is again. It's the chicken. Give me that. Here. Here. Yeah, I guess it just distracts the enemies. They stand around and scream at it. Oh yeah, give me that health. Accumulating so much cash here. <laughs> Who else just yelled at me? That wasn't another fake out sound, was it? Hmm. Okay. Oh god. There's the ghost chicken again. I'm taking it with me. We're gonna clear the level together. Alright, this is... Alright, I'm gonna do this last level. Because I've managed to get really far this time. I think this is like my best run yet. Oh. Alright, give me the health. <laughs> I want to find and defeat the gatekeeper. Alright, here you go, guys. Go yell at that chicken. It just confounds them. They don't know what to do. Ah, shit! There's a poison chest. Is there still treasure inside? Nope, just bones. Oh god! Oh, that was a Lord of All Cheese activated enemy. That spooked me. Oh my god, there's more. Duh. Why are there so many? Oh, oh my god. You're really trying to uh, put a stop to this run, aren't you? Well, I will not be bamboozled by this. I've got this. No problem. 
I am now a master at City of Brass. Got him. No problem. Oh, he's still coming? There we go. Ah! Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> I guess this was your apology. I, I guess I earned that loot from fighting so many enemies. What is that? Is that a trap? That looks weird. Alright, I gotta find this gatekeeper. Oh, give me that. That's a cool feature. You can, like, whip a faraway object and pick it up. I really like that. So much money! I haven't even found, like, a single sword that I can buy. I wish there was, like, you know, some really expensive item I could buy. With all this money I'm accumulating. That's a big spike trap. Ugh! Is that the gatekeeper? I think the no-arms guy just... Oh my god. Well, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. They're a-coming. I kind of wish, like, when you tripped the running guys, they would kind of, you know, keep up their momentum and just go flying. Look at that little trap in the corner. Who's that going to get? Come on. Disable traps. I mean, I have enough money, I might as well. find a weapon in here. Give me give me a new sword. Oh, it's a potion. The nectar of time. Oh god. Here. I'm going to wish that he would stop doing that. And I think I'm not even supposed to go where that genie was. So I'll just keep on going this way. Uh, this way, I guess. Oh. Oh, it looks like I was going the right way the whole time anyway. Got another gambler shrine. I'll check this out. Chart of Revelation. What could this be? Behold, a map to find your way. Yeah, look at that. Doesn't seem to have the gatekeeper marked on here. Is it that red thing, maybe? I don't think it is. Oh, there's a mini-map, too. That rules. This must be the gatekeeper. Ah! Shit. 
How do I get rid of that force field he has? Hmm. Maybe if I... Oh, God. He's destroying his gazebo here. This seems like a puzzle boss fight. Like I'm supposed to be doing something particular here. Oh god. Shit. Well, I don't know what I was supposed to be doing. So, there goes that. I got some kind of rank up reward. I don't know what that is. Was yeah. it one of those uh, burdens? No, don't know what that was. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, this is this was a really great little game. I loved this. I'd never really heard of it before, but you know, I I got it for free, so there you have it. Pretty cool. Honestly, just like really fun gameplay at the core. I love that. So that's all done. I mean, Ubisoft still a shit, but I can uh, go ahead and delete that. That was the last game of the night, so I'm going to put on a little music, and then it's time to spin the wheel. All right. Who is ready? To spin the wheel. The wheel of games. Let's delete City of Brass, delete Nex Machina. Definitely I think City of Brass was the best game of the night. It caught me off guard. Even if it didn't have the Twitch integration, which was fun. That one was great. Wander Song was great. He was pretty good. I liked that one pretty well. Welcome to Elk. I felt very neutral about. It was fine. But I also feel like it takes more of a time investment to really get into it. But yeah. Um, now I might have thought City of Brass was the most fun, but the one I would most likely replay would probably be Wander Song. Just because it was like really charming. I liked the sense of humor that it had and the characters and stuff, and surprising mechanics. All right, this is some pretty festive music for the wheel spinning, so let me uh, get that pulled up here. I had to spin a game early on in the stream because uh, Ubisoft will not let me play Rayman Legends, even though I own it. So, I'm going to get a new pool of 50 games and spin those. Alright, let's see here. Here is the wheel. Now, this is kind of a landmark occasion because the wheel currently has 402 games on it. And I've been saying for the last several streams that I have a backlog of over 400 games, but after today, next week, I'm not going to be able to say I have a backlog of over 400 games. I'm going to have to say over 300 games. Anyway, without further ado, let me shuffle this up, and then I'm going to cut it down to 50 games, just so you can actually see what's listed on there and not just be staring at an impossibly dense wheel. All right, so there's 76, 56, 51, and boom. <clears throat> That's 50 games. So go ahead and place your bets. What do you think the wheel will land on? What do you hope the wheel will land on? And we'll see what I get. 
the first game for next week. What's it gonna be? Sonic Adventure yet? Yeah, I've never played it. Believe it or not. Oh, so close to that one, actually. And this is... Lego Batman 2! Alright. I'm into that. Um, the first Lego Batman did not go great because I ran into, like, an impassable glitch. Which I googled later on and found out was a common issue. If I had turned off V-Sync, I think it would have not come up. So hopefully Lego Batman 2 runs a bit better on modern systems. It'll be the redemption run for Lego Batman. And then after that, what's it gonna be? Mm. I was kind of hoping for Darkest Dungeon. I've heard that game's really good. Basket Bell is what we got instead. That's one that I know nothing about. Oh, I turned off the wrong image there. The wheel. Um, there it is. Basket Bell. All right, all right. Let's remove that one. And then, game number three. What's it gonna be? Hmm. Maybe Metro Exodus? I think it is. Came really close to Sonic Adventure again. So I think Metro 2033 was like one of the first games I ever played on the roulette. So it'll be interesting to do the other Metro game next time. I wasn't that into the first Metro. I wasn't that into 2033. I don't know. It just wasn't really like my style of game. But let's see what I've got next time. Game number four. We are going to have... Ooh, uh, I think we're going to just miss Devil Daggers and get Outlast instead. A spooky horror game. Alright. I remember hearing all kinds of hype about Outlast when it just came out, and, like, people were super into it, and these days I feel like nobody really talks about it. So... I'll get to be in on the hype from years ago, maybe. And then the final game, which is mostly just in place in case I have technical difficulties with the other games or quit them really early, but generally I try to do the backup game anyway. As long as I, you know, am not just like super sleepy or something like that. So that final game next time. Oof, almost landed on Devil Daggers again. Hmm, it's gonna be Dead Pixels. There you have it. Didn't land on Sonic Adventure, how sad. But you know, it'll be there for another day. Dead Pixels. Alright, well that's gonna do it for tonight then Halloween stream oh yeah maybe I mean I know Metro and Outlast are pretty spooky maybe Dead Pixels I don't know I'm not really sure what kind of game Dead Pixels is so anyway that's gonna do it for me tonight I'm gonna go um, uninstall the games I played this time and then install the games that I'm gonna play next time so, yep, um, thanks for participating, Lord of All Cheese. And thanks for anybody else who chatted and watched and just uh, hung out, even if you were just there in the background. Anyway, pretty good batch of games tonight. So I'll see you next week. 
Uh, have a good rest of your night, and remember to stay hydrated.